Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Good Shepherd Episcopal Church here in Wailuku, Maui. My name is Moki Hino, and I am your priest in charge. Today is the 14th Sunday after Pentecost, proper 17, August 29th, 2021. Helping with today's service, as always, our music ministers are Ferdinand Kahigal and Carissa Kahigal. Our acolytes this morning are Matthew Yagen and Natasha Lau. Our readers are Andrew Yagen and Marin Kuzara. And our intercessor is Maisie Tam. And as always, we send great thanks to our technological team for helping to make this morning's service possible. And now we will begin our service with the ringing of the bell 12 times, one for each apostle.
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and, and peace to his, his people, people on earth. earth. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King, Almighty God, God and Father, we, we worship you, we give you thanks, we, we praise you for your glory. glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and bring forth in us the fruit of good works through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now we'll have the reading of the lessons. A reading from Deuteronomy. Moses said, So now Israel, give heed to the statutes and ordinances that I am teaching you to observe so that you may live to enter and occupy the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. You must neither add anything to what I command you, to what I command you nor take away anything from it, but keep the commandments of the Lord your God with which I am charging you. You must observe them diligently, for this will show your wisdom and discernment to the peoples, who, when they hear all, their, all these statues, will say, Surely this great nation is a wise and discerning people. For what other great nation has a God so near to it as the Lord our God, which is whenever we call to him? And what other great nation has statues and ordinances as just as this entire law that I am getting, that I am setting before you today? But take care and watch yourselves closely, so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen, nor to let them slip from your mind all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 15 Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle, who may abide upon your holy hill, Whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart. There is no guile upon his tongue. He does no evil to his friend. He does not keep contempt upon his neighbor. In his sight the wicked is rejected, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong and does not take back his word. He does not give his money in hope of gain, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. A reading from the letter of James. Every generous act of giving, with every perfect gift, is from above, coming down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In fulfillment of his own purpose, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that we would become a kind of first fruit of his creatures. You must understand this, my beloved. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, For your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourself of all sordidness and wreck your growth of wickedness. The power to save your souls, but be doers of the word, and not merely 
hearers due to deceive themselves. In the mirror, for they look at themselves and, and going away, immediately forget what they were like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and pers and persevere, being not hearers who forget, but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. If anything, they are religious. And do not brittle their tongues, but deceive their hearts. Their religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God. The Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress, and keep oneself unstained by the world. The world of the, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who'd come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews don't eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they don't eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked Jesus, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And Jesus said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. 
There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within and they defile a person. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Here I am in Sand Hill in my apartment uh, with my artwork and my books and uh, the beautiful view of the ocean, Kahului Harbor, Haleakala. Uh, but the thing that I really appreciate the, the most about my, my home is that it has the presence of Jesus in it. Um, through study, through the prayers, uh, and also through the artwork. Uh, you'll see a picture behind me done by a parishioner in Hilo called Jesus is a Nebula. Uh, so from the, from the blood of Christ, something vast and wonderful is created in the birth of a star. Uh, next to me, I have uh, Santo Nino. I've uh, endeavored to procure one for many years and finally did and and I love it because I sit in the mornings and look at him and just am still with him and then in the evening same thing I sit and I look at him uh, with the candlelight and uh, I'm, I'm present with him it's really uh, what it's all about you know being being nurtured by the presence of God it's what all four readings uh, are about uh, in in our uh, lectionary today you know God was really really concerned for the Israelites uh, they had come out of the desert uh, come out of e Egypt and were going toward the promised land through the desert and God really wanted them to get to the promised land and so he gave them rules um, and if you if you look at a lot of uh, what's in Leviticus that unpacks what Moses presented and said you know you got to remember and your children's children will remember uh, they were about hygiene uh, they were about health uh, sanitation um, because God wanted them to make it and not you know die in the desert from disease or food poisoning or uh, things like that and then we, we have this beautiful psalm um, that, that reminds the people of God uh, many, many years later that, no, there's, there's still these, these things that you've got to follow. Uh, unfortunately, by the time we get to Jesus, uh, the laws are so many and so complicated that uh, nobody could remember them or understand them except those who dedicated their lives to remembering them and interpreting them for others. Uh, people like the Pharisees who scold Jesus and say, you know, you're letting somebody with defiled hands uh, come and eat with you and therefore you are going to be defiled. And Jesus says, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you guys. You know, it's not, it's not the stuff that is outside of us that defiles us but it's the stuff inside of us that defile defiles us and lead to uh, this list of things that he spells out I remember that licentiousness was one of them um, anger uh, things like that and uh, he just you know 
lowers the boom later on and says, Love the Lord your God, love your neighbor as yourself. On these two hang all the laws and the prophets. <laughs> Uh, that's that's really what he's saying and uh, very easy to remember but maybe not so easy to do which is why you know after afterwards uh, James comes up with this letter that says you know you can't just be doer uh, hearers of the word you've got to be doers of the word you can't just know it you've got to enact it and embody it uh, so and that's why James later on says faith without works is dead um, so that's our that's our charge to be doers of the word um, you know how wonderful it would be uh, to be in a dark place and to need Jesus and to need God and have someone come along and be kind or have someone come along and be loving have someone come along and be compassionate have someone come along and be forgiving I think that one would be be huge also um, to have someone come along and do those things without being in judgment saying things like you know you're not good because you're sitting next to a person and eating next to a person with defiled hands uh, boy I know there are times uh, in my life where I've been in a dark place and uh, people have come along and just loved me uh, without judgment um, I've been in dark places uh, where I've, I've had to go to people and say, you know, we, we've got to break down in our relationship because of something I've done. Will you forgive me? And then they do. You know, they release me from any need for consequences. Uh, it's a wonderful and beautiful thing. You know, can, can we do that for our fellow human beings? Because right now, let me tell you, there are so many people in need. Um, just, just take a look at what's going on in Afghanistan, Haiti, Myanmar, uh, let alone what's going on with all these different philosophies about um, COVID-19 and how we, how we address it. You know, what if we suspended judgment? What if we were just kind and loving? And what if people in turn uh, could receive that? You know, could receive the, the healing presence of Jesus through our attitudes? I think the world would be a really different place. Uh, and I think that's the world that Jesus strives for. It's the world that James and Moses want to get us to. And so you and I have a lot of work to do um, because it's not easy. Boy, you know, I, I drove by uh, High Street the other day and uh, saw a demonstration um, about not wearing masks. And it was really hard for me not to go to judgment. Uh, but I can get to a place where I, I forgive because um, it's God's desire for us to be in relationship with each other and for to, to care about uh, each other uh, and to take care of each other, uh, no matter who we are. It doesn't matter if we're Christian or uh, non-Christian. Um, you know, it says uh, in the baptismal covenant, we will seek and serve Christ in all persons and respect the dignity of every human being. Uh, and that comes about as a result of an attitude from within. And uh, how, how do we get to that place? Well, we take in the presence of God, whether it's through scripture, whether it's through the sacraments, whether it's through the prayers, uh, whether it's through sitting with a painting or a, a statue, whatever it takes. 
so so let's do what we have to do to uh, get the kingdom to that place whether it's within our lifetimes or not uh, because we want that second coming to to happen that that advent of Christ uh, back in our midst and you know, if we're called to suspend judgment, then I think God is going to suspend judgment as well. And so it's not a matter of uh, some of us get to go up to uh, the rapture and some of us are left behind. I think what God is waiting for is for the kingdom to get its act together and to, to be doers of the word and embody what Jesus is telling us uh, to love God and to love neighbor and to do it by being kind, compassionate, non-judgmental, forgiving, and loving. So uh, my, my prayer is that our, our worship life together, our community of prayer together, our sacraments, our interpretation of scripture uh, at, will get us to that point or at least get us started. Uh, just like the Israelites got started when they left Egypt and headed toward the promised land. Uh, Moses didn't get there, uh, but he made sure others could. Maybe we won't get there, but we've got to make sure others can. So uh, at the second coming, the promised land is there for all of us. Those who have gone before, those who are here now, those who are yet to come. And oh, man, what a beautiful, beautiful world that will be.
And now let us affirm our faith by reciting together the words of the Nicene Creed. We, we believe in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, earth of, of all that, that is seen and unseen. And unseen. We, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son, Son of God, God eternally begotten of the Father, Father God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On, on the third, third day, day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now we will have the prayers of the people. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world. We pray for the providence of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan. We pray for All Saints Kapa'a, the Reverend David and Muriel Jackson. We also ask your prayers for Michael, our presiding bishop, Robert, our bishop, and Moki, our priest. For this gathering and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for Joseph, our president, David, our governor, and Mike, our mayor, for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for those, the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for those in any need or trouble. I ask your prayers for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of Him. Pray that they may find and be found by Him. I ask your prayers for the departed. Pray for those who have died. We pray for our stewardship committee. Kay Peter Lee and Louise Alloy. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, especially John Bunyan, Margaret Ward, Margaret Clitheroe, Anne Line, Charles Grafton, Aidan, David Pendleton, Okaheita. Martyrs of New Guinea, Phoebe, Paul Jones, and Albert Schweitzer. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day.
Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have, have not loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have, have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We, we are, are truly, truly sorry and we humbly repent. repent. For the, the sake, sake of, of your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen.
Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.